What up, family? Get a news report, Mayor Dash 20 Mayor Lead. I got 1231 in my city, Chicago. See the two ones right here and the two three to 23? Mm hmm. This one for me. Uh huh. Yeah. Y'all get ready to put your deuces up and stuff. I already did a video, slayed my fucking goddamn enemies and shit. I'm number one, Nahum chapter one. Don't forget it. And um, Numbers chapter eight and Micah chapter three, four. Five, six, and seven. We already did that one before in another video. This one for the win. This is for they said Brooklyn. They said uh Mary J already won quiet scale, but this is three strikes you out since people like playing back baseball and stuff. I told them I was the bat catcher, but they ain't believe me. You understand what I'm saying? So this is winner take all motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? I told them in nineteen ninety five I just dropped the nine and the five before I put this video up today is february uh the 18th 2022 so they say i told them my how your pop gonna give me everything i want at the same time now i was just thinking of um uh, you know uh you know a nice house you know family you understand what i'm saying that i can call on every now and then if i needed help you know what i'm saying um you know my money so i won't be uh a slave like they trying to make me and shit real talk today is supposed to be the day that uh you know they called me for my social security uh, uh redetermination and whether i need it or not even though they know damn well they gave me cancer may 9th of 2016 uh, or 15 whatever the fuck day of the year was and shit you understand what i'm saying because you know they keep changing things you know john meyer got a song you know uh waiting on the world to change and you know um he said when they own the information they can bend it all they want now you have um macklemore he's a rapper a white guy and he's got this song called the heist you understand what i'm saying and if you take the a and the t off of atheist you got heist and i believe alcohol is anonymous stood for atheist anonymous because towards the end you know after everything hit the um fan or whatever and stuff and they railroaded me May 31st, 2008 in my city, Chicago, on Devon and Clark for so-called this army of police officer I did not do. And it's a Dino's um, bar and grill, you know, with my, the year I was born, 1967, on it. It was red, white, and blue. And I told them, you know, in 1995, I said, I believe that all my pictures are turning black and white. And that's what's happening. And everybody know if you color black and white together, you get gray which ain't nothing but a patsy. So we all going to be a patsy dead or whatever the fuck. You understand what I'm saying? And if I die, we all die because I'm not going to kiss your ass. I'm not going to give you my respect. You know, I had to earn mine as I, you know, fought long and hard and didn't have no help. I put the world on my back, you understand what I'm saying, and carried it for real, for real. And even Tupac said me against the world. So they was basically telling people, you know, how to railroad me. And they just kept jumping on the bandwagon and stuff. And this new generation just doing the same thing, the new millenniums and stuff. But everybody has a phone now, something I didn't have in the 90s and stuff. You know, they was on some low download shit or whatever and stuff, you know, not telling me and stuff. I had a beeper, but I ain't had no cell phone and stuff. I remember them big ass phones and stuff, you know, but I ain't get one and stuff because I ain't had nobody to call any goddamn way and shit. So I called on my higher power like I always do. So they trying to give Mary J. Blige and everybody my rap legacy and everybody want to say that New York came up with rap first, which is a damn lie and stuff because we got New York people and this is my city, Chicago. We got all walks of life to tell you the truth. You understand what I'm saying? Right here in this goddamn building, you understand? So, you know, tomato tomatoes, right? So this is three strikes you out. So the Brooklyn Dots, there's no place like home. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking so. Take y'all ass back where you came from. The Twin Towers, two, Tupac said they meant to hit ours. If you go downtown, in my city, Chicago, they got two uh, buildings that's a garage looking like the Twin Towers and shit. He said it. If you real Tupac fan... He said it. He said they meant to hit ours. Real fucking tough. You know what I'm saying? And if he didn't say it, somebody said it. So we're going to see if they hit him. Because them the real twin towers. For real. All right. To the right, I got the eight ball and the four. That's, that's when I gave Oprah Winfrey my story. Now, we just doing 
you know how I do. I'm the queen of the brick. To the right, I gave Oprah Winfrey my story in 1984. I hardly ever dropped the eight ball. And what make you think I would drop it with the color purple? You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I gave her my story in uh, 1984 at the age of 17. And my niece, Dion Nelson, who is a mathematician, who helped me with my math problem, my division problems at that. You understand? When the teachers went even teach me and stuff. She taught me how to um, do the vision. I gave the paperwork to Oprah Winfrey because I got my hundred and I was happy and stuff at the age of 17. She said she would write back, but she did. All right. Now, right here is the white ball and 11. We ain't down without these crackers and stuff. And here, you know, here, here go. Let's add it up. Let's add it up. So we got 11. We got 11. Shit. That's 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. On my mama, nigga. Real fucking talk. Jordan ain't got shit on me. Hold on. Let me see. Let me make sure I got to. Got to do it over. Let me see. 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23. Yeah, Jordan ain't got shit on me. Okay, real fucking talk. My mother supposed to have died March 23rd of 2000. That's what she's, That's what they said. You understand what I'm saying? But my sister, my oldest sister, Linda Nelson, who was supposed to be a nurse, or RN at that, um, you know, ended up with some insurance and stuff when the funeral was over or whatever and stuff. Now, they ain't bury my mother the same um, day. They ain't bury her the same day. They buried her the next day, so I don't know if she died or not that day. I was telling jokes because it was a lot of naivete in me, you know, and I didn't know how to take it because I knew my family was full of shit, and I knew I told my mother, you know, I read her a poem. I said, you know, you're going to have to die for me in order for, Modi, for me to... um. For me to for to set your child free, put it like that. And it was somebody else in the room. It's one of the poems. If you got my book, Ryan's Poems and Metaphors Plus One Song, you know I ain't lying. And I did a Mother's Day part too because, you know, I had became a little more mature. I wrote that poem, the first one, you know, you know, when I was younger and stuff. But I I knew I used to watch TV. I grew up on TV music and you know movies, so I figured I'll see her again if she tap out. That's what I was trying to say. You understand what I'm saying? But I ain't know how to use the word tap out. But, but I knew people that in the movie, if they died, they came back, you know, and I see them again. You understand what I'm saying? So I knew when my mother, we didn't bury my mother the same day that she was, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in the, I'm in the um, funeral home, you know, just, you know, kind of uncertain to tell you the truth and telling jokes. When I get nervous, I, you know, I tell, you know, jokes, you know, try to ease the whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? But then I noticed that my sister had a house full of furniture afterwards and stuff. And I'm like, you know, well, maybe she knew somebody and it was a scam or whatever and stuff, you know, because that my sister was a shyster. I ain't going to lie and shit. This full of shit. Real fucking talk. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, her and my brother was by my um, mother's side when my mother had a hole in her throat and my brother gave, you know, her a cigarette. But before they showed up and I showed up with them to see my mother, who probably wasn't even my mother. You understand what I'm saying? I don't fucking know. I just, I don't know. Shit, I ain't finna stress myself either. And, you know, she didn't have no hole in her throat. And I, you know, the spirit told me to go to her and stuff. And, you know, I went to the Belmore Nursing Home, whom I gave my book, Ryan's Points and Metaphors, plus one song to, threw it up under the administration office door. And I know they got it. And I got people in there that had told me they treat them motherfuckers like shit. And the spirit led me to, you know, the nursing home. And, you know, um, I went through there talking about, hey, leave my mama alone. She didn't have no hole in her throat then. But then when I showed up with my my dolphin brother and my alcoholic sister, Linda Nelson, and Emmanuel, you know, Emmanuel, just like Rahm Emanuel. Yeah, see, it's all the same shit. When you don't stick together, other people would will step up to the plate and just use you up and shit and give you a few crumbs and shit. I guarantee you, Rahm Emanuel walked away with a bunch of fucking money. And my sister and brother probably did too. Who knows? They only trying to kill me. But if I try to save the whole world so we can all be billionaires and get past this bullshit, I ain't with being poor and broke. And I ain't kissing your ass and you I'm, you ain't getting my respect. So fuck y'all. Long story short, um, my mother probably didn't die. And then my sister's going to say, uh, yeah, I thought you was trying to kill mama. Get the fuck out of here. Why would I go? Why would I give him my book, first of all? And why would I run through the motherfucker talking about leave my mama alone and shit? Real fucking so. And why did why didn't you stop uh 
uh, Emmanuel when, she, when he gave her a cigarette on her deathbed. See, she thought I was going to fight for her, my mother. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, I, I'm high strung sometimes, you know, but I had, you know, advanced in life and it grew the fuck up and shit and realized that my family just crazy and shit. Gold diggers and, you know, opportunities just like everybody else that's trying to get in my pockets. I'm worth too goddamn much. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. So this this my shirt. It's funny how you think I'm listening. See, when I wasn't paying attention, you know, motherfuckers like, what's wrong? She, she don't even care and shit. You know what I'm saying? Then they start talking to you. When you don't talk, they start talking to you. So, yeah, I dropped the eight ball on the break. But if um, it would have dropped by itself, that would have been a win and stuff. But for the simple fact that, um, look, so which, which means we all fucking dying and shit. Real fucking talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But look, that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is, what's the chances of the purple ball and the eight ball dropping? You understand what I'm saying? The color purple. Open no, I gave her my story at the age of 17. And she used it to come out with the color purple. And at the age of eight, I became the originator of rap music. That was to the right. That's true. That's my true story. Now, that left shit, nigga, the 11 and the white, that's them motherfuckers. So deuces on you motherfuckers and shit. Real fucking talk. Y'all ain't got shit to do with me. It's quiet as kept. Well, you do, but, you know, until you do right by me like the color purple say. You understand what I'm saying? But it's mighty funny. Oprah talking about your dead body be just what we need. Well, I feel the same way about you motherfuckers and shit. My sentiments exactly. So, yeah. The uh, left... I'm not dying without you motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I'm not dying without you. For real. So, you know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just saying, think about it. I told him my signature was going to be worth more than Michael Jordan's. So, this is definitely, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the end of y'all motherfucking road and shit. Now, let, let's do this Bible. Let's do this Bible. Because this is going to tell it all, for real. And I'm going to use my right hand. Right hand to God, for real. Cause when you when you in um, up oh, there you go, nigga. Michael Jackson and Jordan King, right here. I, I told you, Michael chapter three, four, five, and six and seven, and right back where we started from from the last video. See, you see, I didn't already wrote it. You understand? What I'm saying right hand to God. I, it, it's like I I can't make this shit the fuck up, nigga. I can't make it up. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking tough. You see it. I done already wrote it. Michael Jackson and Jordan. You ain't got shit on me. I done took out two kings, motherfucker. There you go. Deuces. Motherfucker. Deuces. Real fucking. You see my birthday right here. 560, 5, 6, and 7. You understand what I'm saying? May 1967. Now, I don't know which one of you fuck boys did the most and shit when it came to me. But God don't like ugly and shit. I told you my signature is going to be worth more than Michael Joyce. I told him that in 1995, and they didn't believe it. Do you believe in that? Because if I become homeless, bitch, I'm going to be the fucking stankingest, richest, filthiest motherfucker out there and shit. Because I'm not sucking no dick, licking no ass, eating no pussy and shit. And you ain't getting nothing from me and shit. I promise you, I'll just be one stinking, shitty motherfucker. My ex-girlfriend, Donna Marie Evans, the Italian Stanley, the banker, the real estate agent, and my boo, for real, <laughs> told me the ones that come in the bank be the stinking, filthiest motherfuckers in the world and shit with all the money and shit. I done broke all you niggas and shit, for real. <laughs> and your bones, nigga. For real. Uh, happy Slavery Day or fucking happy uh, happy Black History Month. That's what hit me in my jaw on the west side, you punk-ass bitches. Real fucking tote. Hit me in my face, I mean. Hit me in my face and my jaw, all you faggot-ass motherfuckers. Straight up. Uh, what else I got? I got a few more minutes, a few more seconds, bitch. Let's cuss you motherfuckers out. I'm telling you, you bitches, I keeps it 100, goddammit. 100 for you. And 100 for you. Real fucking talk. Blue faces, bitch. LB. <laughs> Ladies, bitches. My hoes. MH. Peace.